Hey guys, so here we have the DisplayPort 1.2 to HDMI 2.0 and my new riser cable for my video card on my core. So uh, this one is from Amazon, it's re very recommended by many people, so I'm gonna review this one. I think it's actually longer than the one I had, which is a little bit bad because I didn't like how long it is, but whatever. If it works, I'm a happy fella. So I have a lot of faith that this is gonna work, so uh, I hope it's safe to say that yay, we're gonna get rid of this awful video card position. For SLI it's pretty cool I think, but uh, not for what I wanted to. It needs to look better and it does that when it's facing forward. Look at this, this looks so much better if it would be facing forward, so uh, we're gonna do that. I might have to take the core away from here. Yeah, because I need to install the second bracket. I'm gonna do that. Alright, so I reinstalled this base, and when my new carbon foil arrives, I'm gonna wrap this, this, and this one. And I might also wrap this. And maybe the inside, but I'm not sure. I might also cut the inside, the the this cover a bit. But uh, there's the new riser cable. It looks very clean. And now I'm gonna test it out. So now the GPU is installed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly hook this monitor up. But I'm not gonna use the HDMI to HDMI in the video card. I'm actually gonna test out this new display port to HDMI because I need that. So uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, Throw that on and see how it works. The last PCI cable crashed the audio and ran only at PCI 1.1 instead of 3. So I quickly hooked everything up, I got power, I got my monitor installed with the new cable and I have an external speaker here because these don't have speakers to test the audio and um, yeah, so let's throw this on. So the card is spinning as it should and look at that real estate. So normally this would be my 1080p screen and I have all this to spare where I can put stuff and as you can see it's running at PCI three times and it didn't do that before and I haven't checked the audio yet so I'm gonna do that but uh, the card is overclocked like this and it's running pretty well. It's a little bit warm but I don't mind because it's far away usually so I don't hear it. It's only running at 60 which is uh, not that high. And these gonna be replaced today, so stay tuned for the next video where I get my triple radiator and put the thermal take rings on them. So I'm gonna put the ring on this. Yeah, but uh, looking hella good. I like it. The cable works, the adapt I mean, seems to be working. And uh, it's still running at 75 hertz. Yeah, looking cool. So I'm gonna set it up to run dual screen and uh, then I'll show that. Alright, so my cable management is pretty clean, I move stuff around and this is how it looks now. So you can see the TV is somewhat more on the right side with the monitor on the left side, still with the LED stuff. And um, I will get rid of that ugly keyboard very soon. I bought a wireless mechanical keyboard which will be really cool. Then everything will be wireless because I also have a wireless mouse and my... I need a new mouse mat, this one is very old but... There's the setup, as you can see the 21 by 9 is pretty dope and it's running at 75 hertz and my TV is running at 60 hertz. Behind that beam there's like all the power connectors which makes it very convenient, there's also some USB ports there and this one also came loose. Alright so that should be good, so as you can see the subwoofer is there with its backlighting, TV is there. That little thing you can see sticking out there is the infrared sensor for the LEDs that I made. And that is the keyboard cable that will be gone very soon. But for the rest it looks pretty clean. And my monitor is hooked up. Gets power also running behind the beam. The riser cable is looking really good back there. Like I said, it's working really fine. Same goes for this adapter. I will link them. Both of them working fine. Finally, I'm, getting, I'm rid of this audio issue that I had with the riser cable, so this one is proper, which many people already told me before, and um, yeah, this uh, display port to HMI is also working, 
and I have it laid down for a very far distance all the way up there behind the table going back there to the monitor and still running at 75 Hertz and everything no problem so you can see there's the HDMI cable working fine so uh, yeah everything is working it's almost all, all done there's not much left for me to do but uh, yeah Stay tuned for further updates. That was the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.